The election is only two weeks away, and in Troy, all eyes are on a bond issue that would allow the school district to build a new elementary school. Two News reporter Ethan Fitzgerald is working for you to find out how locals feel on the issue. The oldest school here in Troy is 100 years old. Now, last August, I talked to the superintendent, and he told me a new elementary school would go a long way in improving the learning environment for students here in Troy. Now, today, I hit the streets to ask residents what they think. Um, I can see the pluses, but I can see a lot of negatives. Shane Miller calls Troy home, and he's up to date on what locals think about the issues going up before voters. Miller worries about an increase in taxes, but he says there's more to it. What's going to happen to the old schools? Are they going to stay abandoned? Are they going to be torn down? A lot of citizens are worried about being able to bust their kids from a farther distance. I don't know that it should be built where they want it to be built. The 59-acre property off West State Route 55 and Nashville Road will be annexed into Troy. There's a lot of people here in Troy that support the bond but want more information from the district. But I believe that the kids deserve a little bit better than what they have. I checked on voter numbers at the Miami County Board of Elections. So far, they've sent out 1,400 absentee ballots. They've also had 483 people come in to cast their vote. City council, school boards, trustees, those folks affect your life more on a day-to-day -day basis than the president of the United States. So when you say off your election, I don't like it. These are local elections. These are the elections that matter. For more information on that bond, type in Troy City Schools on our website at WDTN.com. Reporting live in Troy, Ethan Fitzgerald, 5 on 2.